they're celebrating the fact that they've been together for a long time. There's I, there's that type of longevity, and then there's the type of longevity where the Beatles recording career, I believe, was just seven years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. And, and well, the yeah. impact that they made. Just, they're, yeah. they're immortal. And when I, when I was, was you know, teaching the, the junior high, when I was teaching the music, they when we would play any games that involved music, like a lot of them wanted to play musical chairs, and they always wanted the Beatles played. Huh. Always These wanted the Beatles played. Grade school kids nowadays, I mean, still, the Beatles. Always wanted to hear. They, they weren't always sure which which one was which, like whether there was a poster of them up on the on the wall in the in the music room, and they weren't sure which ones were which or which ones were still alive. How but recent, they knew the music. How recent was this? It was a couple months ago, <laughs> yeah. Well, something's happening in that part of Illinois that's not happening in LaSalle. Because Wendy tells me a story about her high schoolers that, you know, Mick Jag you don't know who Mick Jagger is? He's the singer from the Beatles. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. The Beatles, Rolling Stones, it's the same thing. Yeah. That yeah. And with that, yeah. that's the end of our, our oh, podcast, uh, guys. Okay. Bye. 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 Oh, <laughs>